Greetings friends and Robloxians, it is I, Birdbrain Sane, and welcome to a Little Kingdom production. Today we're doing the first and second Critter Catching Contests. This was definitely a learning experience and a lot of fun. I'll just give a little narration as we go over. Most of these things you probably saw in you watched the tutorial on how to play the critter catching contest. We bring in the first player here. This is permissible and permissible puts all their critters in this chest and I verify and ensure that they're all in there. He was missing a couple items. I went ahead and traded with him give him those things that he was missing just to ensure that all the critters were in the chest he went on the field without any critters so at the end of the game when we count up all the critters they caught it's a fair deal for everybody permissible's got all their critters in the chest take those things that i gave him and then we just have him go wait outside it only takes a few minutes to get everybody set up would have gone faster if we had had more owners on the island to assist. This was the first game and I oversaw all of it. After all the players put their things in the chest in the locker room, we bring them over to the playing field entry control point. I think that's what we're calling this room. So it's pretty elaborate setup. Shut this door in this door and then I remove the flag so everybody hits that flag and that makes sure that they stay on the playing field during the game all off the field they will respawn into thin air and fall back onto the playing field so here I go ahead and get some critters in my hot bar start dropping the critters onto the field. I didn't realize it, but I hadn't yet given anybody permissions. So I'm out here stuck in the field with critters. Dropped a frog into the void, asked Snowy Queen to help. She ran over to the um, main spawn point, got it. So that way we can make sure that the playing field is stocked with as many critters as it can handle. Once I realized that I didn't give them the permissions yet, went ahead and fixed that. They were crying it out to me in the chat. I apologize, I'm not very good at playing the game and watching chat at the same time. Everybody's running around catching as many critters as they can. We have three players on the field for this very first game. This is the first official game. Permissible is over there by the one of the beehives. You can see he's getting all the bees out of the hive, so he built himself a little tower, just a small tower to assist him getting to the beehive. And then I like what he does next. After he got those bees, he removes his tower. Very good tactic there. I just keep dropping animals onto the field, trying not to drop them into the void. Occasionally I do get down onto the field and run around and drop some critters. For the most part, I stay up here on this catwalk, hoping that they're not just watching me and following me, trying to figure out where I'm going to drop these critters at. Once I drop them, they do cruise all over the field. This first game was kind of long. I went ahead and skipped to the nighttime so we could see some fireflies. and just kept dropping critters till the moon set. Let's 
see Shadow Fox down there on the bottom left trying to catch a firefly. Fortunately, I wasn't able to concentrate on all the players. Permissible going after a white bunny. Firefly over there on the left. PC just got it. Good job, NPC. Power Cat wants to know if more people join. I said yes. We weren't gonna let them play in this first game. Missable almost fell into the void trying to get a Firefly down there. And he got it. I saw some people are falling into the void. Change this field up on occasion. The moon sets the game is over. I just frog into the void. The moon is about to set. The sun is coming up. All the critters are caught. Go ahead and take build permissions off. And then we tell everybody to go ahead and meet at the locker rooms. We can count up all their critters. Here we are at Permissible Poos. You know, I realize now I didn't add them up correctly during the game. Apologize to the players who played. But we're gonna go ahead and actually do the real tally now. So I got my calculator out. Let's see what he got. 21 plus 3 is 24 plus 6 is 30. And yellow fireflies were two points each, so 34 points altogether there for permissible. And I forgot first round that we were giving colored fireflies. Two points for yellow, three for red, four for green, and five for blue. We didn't get the counts quite right. I hope they had fun. I don't know that the players realized that we had tallied it up wrong until probably after they watched this video, so I apologize to you guys now. All right, here we are in Wolfie Cat, and we're gonna go ahead and add his up with a calculator. We've got five plus 11 plus four plus seven plus 10 plus five yellow fireflies there, two points each. So that's 45 for Wolfie. Now I've got the calculator, now I'm taking notes. Should have done that during the game. Learning a lesson here. All right, so 45 for Wolfie, and then we go on to count our last player, NPC, also known as Zay Love. NPC, go ahead and take a quick tally of that. Two yellow fireflies, that's four, plus three is seven. 9 is 16, plus 2 is 18, plus 9 is 27, plus 6 is 33. 33 altogether for NPC. And I think we here had said, yeah, we got it, that Wolfie was champion, Wolfie was the winner. And then we went ahead and made sure everybody got their critters back. So I'll show you here how we did it with Permissible. Went ahead and went into the locker room chest gave him permissions to have him clear out chest in there. The same with Wolfie. We 
Wolfie remembered that a couple of those items were mine I had forgot, so he left them in the chest. He told me, so I grabbed him out. The last was our NPC's chest. Zay Love. Now we'll head over to the podium, and you'll see where I was confused. So, NPC ended up actually having to go. They weren't for this. I set up the podium. Winner's podium. I think that's what you call this thing. I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure what you call this, but uh, the winner's circle. And I had thought that permissible and NPC both had won second place. I ended up giving, splitting the second place prize for them. Um, but it should have been NPC did come in third place just slightly. Here we are, round two. Players who ended up joining us after the first game had started wanted to play. So we did a second game. And in this one, I'm not going to talk so much. I'll just sit back and let you guys see the the gameplay. So this one was quite a bit shorter. We started later in the day, but again we ended it when the moon set and the last critter was caught. So let's just take a look on the bottom of the field there and see what happened. Two more players on the field for this game. It was Power Cat had joined us and Crown MKZ. friend was on the field. They were going to join us for the game, but at the time we were in their locker room, they were AFK, and I just had to press on and get it going. So I'm sorry to friend that we didn't wait for you to be able to join. I hope you enjoyed spectating on the field. Normally spectators would be restricted to the outside areas that surround the field. was pretty challenging to build. A lot of thought went into this. I think we've designed it pretty securely, but it is designed so that players stay on the field and are not going to be able to get back to the locker rooms. So we can keep it fair, make sure that nobody's messing around with the critters in the lockers. And that um, visitors would remain as spectators, not be getting on the field. We live streamed this yesterday, but it didn't come out so well. I'm still learning how to live stream. Huge thank you to BTY for designing the locker rooms, uh, doing all the decor on the locker rooms, and Snowy Queen helping me try to figure out how to make this as fair of a game as possible. Cat, Catsy J4 also assisted in that conversation as well as Meatball. Huge thanks to Meatball, he helped set up this field. I, I think Cat also helped set it up and Snowy Queen putting down all the grass and stone and Wolfie Cat. If I missed anybody who helped out, I'm sorry, but thank you all. I spent two or three days on this, a couple of hours a day, just trying to figure out what was going to be the best way to set this game up. Just knowing the overall game idea, but not nitty gritty details on how to keep it fair and get people on the field to play. So far, I think it's working out. 
leave me a comment. You gotta join the Discord, uh, the Little Kingdom Discord, to let me know you want to play, but we're gonna continue doing these games. The prizes for this one was a first place prize, it's a million coins of uh, Highland coin, and the second prize was 500,000 coin, and the third prize was 250,000 coin. We'll do championship games and probably going to be giving away things like Golden Frog, Purple Firefly, uh, maybe some of the other high valued items in the game as prices for this championship game. Let's go ahead and add them up for this second game. We've got Permissible, who ended up having 16 items at the end of this game. Adding it all up, 3, 6, 4, and Six, sixteen, and Shadow Fox had yeah, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for the yellow, and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen with the red. So fifteen for Shadow Fox. That's a good one. NKZ. Thought they had 16, but when we added it up, what you got in KZ? 2, 6, 16, plus 6 yellow fireflies, that is 12, so 28 for NKZ. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Map is not my strong point. Alright, on Power Cat. Looking at Power Cat, they got 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 times 2 is, is 8 altogether, plus 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. 14 points for Power Cat, good job. This, this is NPC. NPC got three plus two plus four plus one, ten. All right, ten for NPC. I said nine in the game. Ten. Here we go, setting a podium. There was confusion. Power Cat was asking who's second. I said they were, but actually it was a tie for second between Permissible and Wolfie. We ended up having Power Cat do a spleef game against Wolfie, thinking that Power Cat and Wolfie were tied for second. I meant to film that. The recording got messed up, so I can't show it here, but we still had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this, players playing it. Again, make sure to sign up or playing at Little Kingdom Discord. There'll be a link to that in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, have fun and keep it imaginary.